Hi, I have a question for you today. How do you like your eggs? Boiled, fried, poached, scrambled, eggs benedict, sunny side up. You might think it's a funny question. Why, Emma? Why? Do you, how do you like your eggs? There was a film called Runaway Bride and a lady called Maggie, Maggie Carpenter and she was a bit of a carpenter and this uh, reporter called Ike he lived in a big city heard about Maggie and how she ran away from all her previous fiancés at the altar she ran away she got on a horse she got on the back of a uh, a FedEx truck. She just ran away from every wedding. And so she had about three or four fiancés. And so this reporter wanted to find out, was it true? Could make a good story. Did this lady chew men up and spit them out at the altar? So he went to the small town and followed Maggie around and asked a lot of questions. And then he went to her uh, previous fiancés and asked them questions and wrote down the answers. And he asked the vicar uh, and some questions. And at the end he asked, and how does she like her ex? And the vicar said, oh, that's easy. Same as me. Scrambled. And then Ike, the reporter, he went to another um, former fiancé who was a mechanic and asked him a few questions about Maggie and and oh by the way he said before he left how does she like her eggs oh that's easy said the mechanic same as me poached and he asked all her previous fiancés questions and at the end and by the way how does she like her eggs so Maggie did not know how she liked her eggs because every time she had a new fiance, she her favorite egg became whatever whatever her fiance liked, and she didn't really know what which type of egg she liked. Eventually, in the end of the film, you see her in the kitchen and she's making every kind of egg there is: scrambled, poached, everything. On a, on a kitchen worktop and she decides that after tasting them all she likes eggs benedict and she gave in her, her running shoes to Ike the reporter and it all ended in romance well the point of the story is do you know what you truly like in life uh, because well I didn't I didn't know what I liked and what I didn't like I didn't have an opinion because I was afraid it might be different than the person that I was talking to. And I was a people pleaser and I didn't know my identity. I didn't know who I was, what I wanted in life, what I liked, what I didn't like. I didn't know and I didn't know my purpose for being alive on planet Earth. I hadn't got a clue and there seemed to be no point in living without a purpose because I'm a quite a, a, a purpose-driven person and so it's important that we know how God sees us he's the creator he's the potter we are the clay and and he's made us uniquely and he, he loves us uniquely just as we are and it's important that we know how he sees us he sees us like he sees Jesus, his son. He loves us like he loves Jesus. And to find out our true identity, uh, if we, the more we know Jesus, what he's like, the more we will discover our identity. In my book, Battlefield of the Heart, I write about Peter. He was previously called Simon, and Simon means read blown about, tossed about by the wind, a wavering one, un undecided. And, and it says in James that a man who is double-minded 
will not receive anything from the Lord. And so one day, Pete, Jesus asked Peter, Peter, who do you say I am? You know, he was asking, who do you people say I am? And who do you say I am? And Peter got revelation from heaven and said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And because Peter had revelation of who Jesus was, Jesus then gave Peter revelation of who he was. And he gave Peter a new name, a new identity, and showed him a glimpse of his future. He said, you shall be called Peter, which means rock, steadfast, immovable. And he said, on this rock, I will build my church. And Peter helped build the church. And so it's important we understand how much God loves us and how he sees us. And in him, in Jesus, we find our true identity. So God bless you. I'll see you next time. Have a great day.